Hello everyone, it's Elizabeth. In this video, I'm going to share with you my summer nail care routine, which is pretty simple, short and sweet, because a lot of times in the summer, my nails don't really need a whole lot of maintenance because the temperature isn't super cold, the air isn't really dry, and my nails tend to grow faster in the summer, but this is going to be my really simple summer nail care routine. The first thing that I would do once a week or anytime I'm about to switch up my manicure would be to gently push my cuticles back. I don't use a cuticle pusher for this. My cuticles really aren't bad. I think all of the years of painting my nails have kind of conditioned my cuticles not to grow, but I would typically do this in the shower with the steamy water, but I did run my hands under some warm water to get my cuticles nice and soft to gently push them back. I then file my nails and I use the Olive and June nail file. I've used glass nail files in the past, but I found that they weren't super effective for me and using a regular nail file doesn't damage my nails at all. I make sure to only file in one direction to prevent my nails from peeling. I also like filing my nails with my nail polish still on because I found that you are able to see what you are doing a lot better and you can make sure that your nails are nice and evenly shaped. To remove my nail polish, I do use 100% acetone. Then I take one cotton ball and I rip it up into five sections. This way I can minimize the waste and it really is more effective when I'm removing my nail polish. I soak each cotton ball section with some acetone and then place one section on each of my nails. I let them soak like this for about 30 seconds and then I start rubbing away the polish and I've really found that this method is super effective at quickly removing your nail polish. Acetone is amazing at removing your nail polish very quickly and efficiently, but it's extremely drying to your nails and cuticles, so if you don't rehydrate after you remove your nail polish or after you use acetone, that's when your nails can be quite prone to peeling and breaking and cracking. To rehydrate my nails, I use cuticle oil, and my favorite of all time is from NBM. These are the cuticle buddies, and they are the best and cutest way to achieve healthy nails. I do have a full review of these on my channel, and you can check it out with the card on your screen, but these come in six scents. There is sweet orange and tangerine for growth, lemon and ylang ylang for strengthening, tea tree and eucalyptus for cleansing, peppermint and blue cypress for soothing, lavender and rosemary for restoring, and finally we have grapefruit and geranium for moisturizing. No matter which oil you choose, it will be great for restoring moisture back into your nails, and you really can't beat the packaging and design of these oils, and they're super convenient for on-the-go use as well. I'll be using the Restoring Lavender and Rosemary Nail Oil. I'm just taking the roller ball and rolling it onto my nails back and forth two or three times and then rubbing it in. Again, if you would like a full review and overview of the packaging and style of these products, I really encourage you to check out my full review where you can see a complete overview of the product. I promise this is not sponsored. I'm just really blown away by the effectiveness of these oils. I've used them for a little over two weeks now and I've seen huge improvements in the health of my nails. After the oil has had a chance to soak into my skin, I then take a cleanup brush soaked with some acetone and clean my nail bed. This is to prep for painting my nails, and I recommend using a brush opposed to a cotton ball because this way you can prevent getting cotton fuzz into your manicure. One of my favorite nail treatments and base coats of all time is OPI Nail Envy. It's really great at giving some strength back into your nails. I use it as a base coat, but I also just use it on its own, especially this week. I have a lot of videos that I need to film, so I can't paint my nails right now, but it's going to be great, especially when I want to take a shower or wash my hands. I'm not exposing my bare nails to water because that's super damaging. Once my polish has had a chance to dry, I will wash my hands and then once more add some moisture back into my nails and cuticles. This time I'm using the Sweet Orange and Tangerine Oil for growth. I think this one smells the best of all of them, just for my personal preferences, but I honestly love all of them. And I'm so excited to have all six because I have one by my nightstand in the bathroom. I'll have one in my backpack when I go back to school, one in my car, one in my purse. Like I said, perfect for on-the-go use, especially since we need to be using hand sanitizer and washing our hands a lot more. 
The final step in this routine is using my Zoya Naked Manicure Healing Hand and Body Cream. I just put it on the back of my hands and then rub the backs of my hands together because those seem to get the most dry, and then I will rub the rest of the lotion into my hands and cuticles. I really only like using this lotion in the spring and summer months because, especially in the winter when it gets super cold, my hands get really, really dry, so I definitely need a thicker hand cream. So if you'd like to see a fall, winter, seasonal nail care routine videos, be sure to let me know, but I do really like the Zoya one for the summer and warmer months. And that is it for my summer nail care routine video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Also, let me know what nail care products that you love to use during the summer. I'd love to know, so let me know in the comments below, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!